Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is the day that the Lord has given us. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The meditation for today is based on the letter to the Romans by the Apostle Paul, chapter 12, verse 2. And I read for all of us. Don't change yourself to be like the people of this world. But let God change you inside with a new way of thinking. Then you will be able to understand and accept what God wants for you. You will be able to know what is good and pleasing to Him and what is perfect. This is the Word of God. What is in your mind today? What's heavy in your heart? All of us want to have a life that is full that is happy, that is uh, peaceful, that looks forward to every day. However, sometimes we wake up, wake up looking forward to the day and only to discover that the day is full with worries and problems. And it is like any other day, the relationships are broken. There is uh, something going on at work. We hear about people sick. The pandemic seems not to end, even though we have progressed so much, but we look and we feel sad and depressed, wanting to have something better, and we don't know what to do. Jesus said that what happened is that we have to look inside, to look what we have inside, what is filling our mind, our hearts. When we have good thoughts, good feelings, When we have God in our life, when what we have is good, what comes out will be good. But when we let ourselves to be filled by depressing thoughts, when we let ourselves to look at others and wanting to do what others do, just, just to be, just to be like them, when we let the pressures of the world to come and depress us and oppress us, and we feel prisoners of fear and worries instead of being prisoners of hope. Because when we love God and when we belong to God, what we have in our heart is hope, is joy, is victory, knowing that in the strength of our Lord, we can overcome whatever comes, and we can overcome with joy. Because that's our God and the the will of God for us is good, is pleasing, is perfect. The Apostle Paul said, don't change ourselves to be like the people of this world. Don't let the pressures of the world be so heavy on you that you are a prisoner of the world. But let God change you inside with a new way of thinking, the thinking of, that comes through the eyes of God. And when we think through the eyes of God, we see this beautiful world. We see this relationship we have and that can be healed. We see the work of God in the midst of our problems and our situations, bringing healing, bringing peace, bringing His will that is good, that is perfect for us. Do not let ourselves be like the people of this world, but let God change our hearts, our minds, our way of thinking. Then you, we, will be able to understand and accept what God wants for us, for you, for me, for His world. We will be able to know what is good and pleasing to Him, and what is perfect. Thank you, God, for your love. Thank you for assuring us that what you want for us is good, is pleasing, and is perfect. Forgive us the many times that we let ourselves be changed by the pressures of the world. Forgive us when we let our hearts be filled by fear, and worries, and pessimism, and help us, O oh God, to let you in our life. So from the abundance of our hearts, we will speak 
and we will live. In the name of Jesus Christ, bless us today. Give us a new heart, a new way of thinking. Give us your presence, O Lord. Because when we are in you, we have everything we need. Amen and amen.